Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, I wanted to address a new piece of evidence associated with a mysterious story of Poppy Playtime that has recently come to light within the community. When reversed, the trailer and introduction of the game seem to contain hidden audio messages, and these are chilling to say the least especially when paired with our prior theory about the souls of those potentially trapped within Poppy and the other toys to come out of a Playtime Co. factory. The first person to find this hidden audio in question seems to be user EpsianGold2, who uploaded a now viral video to TikTok revealing this new information. Now I do wish to begin with a disclaimer. While I certainly agree that moments in this trailer seem to contain secret messages, I don't believe this translation is spot on, nor that the entire thing is one big hidden message. Often we try to hear things that aren't really there, and personally I find some of this translation to be a bit of a stretch. However, with many of you asking for my thoughts on this new discovery, I would like to focus on the few lines I believe are intentional and correctly translated. These dialogue lines all belong to Poppy Playtime herself, and read as follows. The rest of the translation seems to be reversed audio that doesn't sound clear enough to make a judgement on. It is also interesting that the easy to decipher audio comes from Poppy herself, as if the soul trapped within is crying out to be set free. This also gives more credence to the assumption that the non-Poppy audio doesn't actually hold a secret message at all. However, I am not trying to discredit the original source, rather stating my own assessment after analysing the audio myself. So then, if we work on the assumption that Poppy is trying to speak to us through this old VHS commercial, then what does that mean for the story of Poppy Playtime going forward? One thing this new audio allows us to do is establish more of a timeline for past events. Originally I assumed the human experiments leading to the imprisonment of human souls within Poppy and the other toys happened around 10 years ago, when the staff at Playtime Co. mysteriously disappeared. With this new information, if it is indeed actually hidden audio and not simply our ears deceiving us, we can date these horrifying experiments right back to the early days of the company. The commercial recorded on this VHS seems to date back to the 1950s or 1960s era, a time before videotape had even been invented, and was likely first aired on television to promote the factory and its toys to consumers. This means whoever is trapped within Poppy Playtime has been there for decades. But with this in mind, we must also remember that toys such as Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy were not invented until the 1980s. So not only had these experiments been occurring over many years, they were seemingly perfected to the point where, unlike Poppy, these toys could move around and animate all by themselves, just like the people trapped within them. Meanwhile, Poppy herself seems to have focused on controlling these other souls, acting as a hive mind and using the power of telekinesis to eventually take vengeance on her captors. We hear lines such as, please help us and let us out. Again, this backs up our previous theory, where we speculated that both Playtime employees and orphan children from around the world, adopted by company staff as part of a Fostering Happiness initiative, have been trapped inside these toys. It certainly makes sense when we consider that Playtime Company was somehow able to create Poppy Playtime, a doll that could interact with children. No technology existed at the time to make this possible, yet somehow Playtime managed it. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. But who is the person trapped within Poppy herself? In the past I have speculated this to either be one of the orphan children, or Playtime employee Stella Graeber. Stella was an immigrant worker who seems to hail from Germany, judging by her accent. Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. 
was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. She was obsessed with making children happy and also wished she could stay a child forever herself, lamenting this notion during her interview for a position on the factory production line. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult, but your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Stella would have made an ideal subject for Playtime's human experimentation, someone naive enough to fall for their promise of a shot at eternal youth and the opportunity to fill children's hearts with joy forevermore. However, it is unlikely Stella would have agreed if she realised it was going to lead to her imprisonment inside this vault within the body of a poppy doll. If Stella is the person trapped within Poppy, it makes sense too, because of her background and the time period. If this new timeline theory is correct, then Stella interviewed for a position at the factory in the 1950s. If Stella was an immigrant, it is likely she travelled to America in the late 40s or early 50s during the post-war era when over 1 million people made the journey from Europe to the US. Many of these people were poorly documented, meaning if they were to disappear, it would be very hard for authorities to locate them. This makes Stella the perfect fit for Playtime's sinister purposes, and once again pins down the origins of the company's human experimentation to 1950s America. On the flip side, in the most recent trailer for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, we hear Poppy refer to a character as Mommy. Mommy doesn't like guests. Most speculate this character to be Kissy Missy, the female variant of Huggy Wuggy. These toys were created in the 1980s, and so it is possible Stella is actually the soul trapped within Kissy and not Poppy. This would alter our timeline theory, and also suggests Poppy's body contains the soul of an orphan child, one who looks up to Stella's Kissy Missy as Mommy. Plenty of food for thought there then, and we'll have to wait for more evidence before making a solid conclusion. One final point I'd like to address is the motivation behind the murders which occurred at the Playtime Company, for which we see much evidence during our adventure. The final piece of hidden audio sounds like this. We've seen the toys trying to kill first hand in the form of Huggy Wuggy as he chases our protagonist through the claustrophobic vent system en route to Poppy. So while this audio seems a bit redundant after playing through chapter 1, in the context of the events discussed throughout this video, it makes a lot of sense. If the timeline theory is correct, and these experiments have been taking place over a period of 50 or 60 years, then we must consider what effect this length of imprisonment had on the hostage's mental state. Say for example, Stella is the soul trapped within Poppy. Say her entrapment began in the 1950s. That would mean she has been trapped for at least 50 to 60 years, depending on the time period the story of the game takes place. During this time, her mind grew twisted and bitter, seeking vengeance. With no way to move and only time on her side, Stella could hone her mind perfectly, transcending what was possible as a human and developing telekinetic powers. Now able to connect with the other souls trapped within future experiments such as Huggy Wuggy and influence them to carry out her bidding. It also seems as though we may be under her control too, or at least under the influence of her actions. Perhaps a test subject ourselves, now returning to the place we escaped during a breakout ten years earlier. Experiment 1006, the prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. But for more on these concepts, feel free to check out my previous Poppy Playtime Theory videos, where I elaborate in more detail. For now, I hope you enjoyed this video where I gave my thoughts on the mysterious hidden audio. 
Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and of course subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.